All right, so Kim's question is about prioritizing what to learn. For example, she is uh, learning how to make her hat manuals better for better efficiency. That's great. That's one of the key skill sets, uh, skills we practice in, in TLC just for better organization and um, less overwhelm. And uh, she's also working on being more visible for her business through Instagram and video. And which means she is learning to edit her videos uh, and then trying out different things to see what the audience wants and doesn't want, which translates into market research. And the, uh, she's also doing a 60 to 90 minute free or low cost event every week, which translates into event promotion. Um, first of all, Kim, it's, it's, I'm impressed that you are um, doing these various different things. And um, I just had a couple of notes. Um, when, when I'm thinking about how to advise somebody on growing their, their business, I always come back to the eight practices of authentic business. If you haven't yet uh, looked at that, you can just Google it and you should be able to come to my blog post about that. Um, but basically, uh, yeah, as I thought through it, I, my first question for you was why edit videos? Because I don't edit my videos. Um, and I, you know, I haven't found it helpful to edit videos. If a video is on a, on a topic, you know, the topic is aligned with what the audience wants. It does, it does well, regardless of how well the, the video is edited. Now, of course, you know, if you spend a lot of, if, you, if the video editing is done really superbly well, obviously it has an effect on whether it's entertaining enough, uh, you know, that whether people feel engaged by it, but really it's more about the topic. Like if I were to talk about something that was really um, like hot in the news or something like that, people would like be glued to the screen versus if I was, if I was talking about some random thought I had that none of you had thought about, then you'd be like, whatever, I don't care, right? So it doesn't matter how charismatic I am when I'm talking about the random thought versus if I'm talking about something hot in the news and, I, and I'm tired that day and I, you know, my hair is not right or whatever, it's still gonna be interesting for you, you know, because you've been thinking about that topic. So number one. Um, number two, uh, if you're obviously, you know, what's more, what's more important than video editing is topic. And then besides the topic, it's about the distribution of the video, meaning, yes, you might have a good topic, you know, and you might have some good organic reach, even just if like five or 20 of your friends watch it. Okay, fine. But how do you get hundreds of people to watch it? This is why Instagram ads is my recommendation. You start as low as $30 a month. Uh, it's well worth it. If you wanted to do LinkedIn, then that's about $100 a month minimum. I think that's a good start. So that's what I would recommend learning is instead of learning how to edit your videos, learn how to use Instagram ads or Facebook ads or LinkedIn ads. That's a very uh, yeah, you know, good use of your time to, to get the stuff out there. Um, and I think it's fine to do the weekly event. Um, the question is, I, are you feeling excited about it? Like, are you getting enough minimum people attending it that makes you feel like you're, you know, you're getting something done or whether you are just doing it because someone told you to do it? Um, I think a weekly event is a lot. I, I think, gosh, even if you did a monthly event, that's more than most business owners are doing. So um, yeah, I, I, think, I think a weekly is probably too often unless you have a big enough audience at those events. When I say big enough, it's really obviously depends. I mean, if maybe, maybe three people are attending and you're, you're happy with that, you know, I don't know what, I mean, you know, uh, Kim is not here right now where I can have a conversation. I'm just recording this response, but, but what is your minimum number to feel encouraged and you feel like you're, you're um, creating content, maybe that's gonna become a, a low cost product later you know, that's fine. But if, if you feel like, yeah, it's not, it's not very encouraging that I'm doing this every week because not enough people are showing up, then maybe just do it once a month and, and work more on the promotion, which you can do if you're using Facebook event pages, then you can learn Facebook ads to promote that event. You can use Instagram ads to promote the event too. So again, I think it comes down to ads is really what I would encourage you strongly to learn next, not video editing. Um, but event promotion really adds uh, and collaborations. That's the other question. Ads and collabs are my favorite ways to promote. I think that's the most 
that's what everyone who wants to promote something should learn, either ads or collabs or both, um, ideally. So I hope this helps, uh, Kim. I know you, you, you're not here to respond to me in the moment, but um, we can continue the conversation in some other Q&A. So thanks for, uh, thanks for asking the questions, sending it in.